More Negroes blood checked. Gunman killed three in a day. I Milo City unidentified gunman killed a school principal and his sister, and a village chief after barging into their homes in two separate attacks on Thursday in the Negroes Oriental City of Beholden, where a longer march for death by an anti-communist group was killed barely 48 hours earlier, police said. Another group of armed men later ran at the gasoline station owned by the family of the cousin of the slain lawyer, Anthony Trinidad. They were looking for Trinidad, brother-in-law, Carlos Gilarmendi. Trinidad, Gilarmendi and his wife, the Hamden counselor Jessica Trinidad Gilarmendi, the longer's elder sister, were among 15 people passed as supporters of the New People's Army, NPA, in a flyer distributed earlier by a group calling itself Cross of the Hamden and they don't communist to, to do that. The blue back threat to blue back has found that those that identified as NPA supporters would not make it to 2018. Trinidad's brother, Jesus Monroe, 25, the Rami Terrace next day, day, was on another similar list. A report by the Negroes Oriental Provincial Police Office said at about 12.55 a.m. on Thursday, armed men forced their way into the house of siblings Arthur and Ardale Biawa in the Rami High Bio and shot them repeatedly. Arthur, 55, was principal of the Holmden National High School Special Science Class. Ardale, 49, was chief of the Curriculum Implementation Division of the Department of Education City Division. Both were single. About 45 minutes later, armed men gunned down Romeo Allison, 64, the Rani Terrace when they stood inside his house in the Rani population. Police Lieutenant Colonel Bonifacio Texan, the Holmden police chief, said Thursday's attacks might have been carried out by the same group of people because of the manner of killing. Texan said in a phone interview that the attack on the two siblings might also be connected to the killing of Trinidad, citing still unverified information that they were the longer's clients. He did not give details. Around 1.30 a.m., seven men armed with rifles forcibly entered a Petron gas station, searching for Villarmandy, the manager, Police reported. When they did not find him, they took some P50,000 in cash sales, a laptop computer, a television set, and a security camera monitor. They painted the slogan of UA and NPA, Long Life the NPA, on a wall before escaping in three bands. 74 slain since 2017 on Tuesday, motorcycle driving gunman shot and killed Trinidad while he was driving his car. His wife was wounded. The Defend Negro Task Shot the Killings Network said it has recorded 74 editions of extrajudicial killings on Negroes Island since January 2017, including Trinidad and the others. President Uter has ordered a thorough investigation of Trinidad's killing, according to his spokesperson Salvador Tamlo. We will prosecute these killers and ensure that they will face the appropriate punishment for such criminal acts as we commit to deliver justice not just for the family of attorney Trinidad but for the entire Filipino community, Painlo said. This is Gerardo, Almanaca of the Diocese of San Carlos City, which includes the Holmden, denounced the killings in a Facebook post. What's happening to our island? When will these killings ever stop? Almanaca said. In a statement, the National Union of People's Lawyers, Newville, also condemned Trinidad's killing, saying it was a manifestation of the culture of impunity that the administration has been perpetuating. The attacks and threats against lawyers show that the dangers of being arbitrarily, maliciously and faithlessly red cast are neither imaginary nor contrived, but constitute real threats to life, liberty and security said Newville Secretary General of Rain Forget and spokesperson Jacqueline Dianle. Similar to farmers play by in the arrest. Carlos Isabani Farad noted that the way Thursday's killings were carried out was very similar to police operations last March that ended in the deaths of 14 farmers in Panlayan City and Mejiot and Santa Catalina towns, all in Negros Oriental. The Philippine National Police said those killed were NPA supporters who fought the policemen, a claim refuted by relatives of the victims who insisted that they were executed inside their houses. In a letter to PNP Chief Oscar Albiol, the slain, 
Longer younger sister, Andrea Trinidad, said allegations linking her siblings to the communist rebels were farthest from the truth. A simple background investigation in our hometown would have proven that all us are productive members of the society, contributing to the general welfare of our community, she said. It is heartbreaking to say the least that this tragedy has struck our family and three other families in just a few days. She appealed for police protection for her family, an expeditious investigation of her brother's killing and the list of alleged NTA supporters, the removal of her siblings from that list, and the restoration of peace and order in B. Holmgen. With reports from Carla P. Vilnet, Julianne Marie Leolade and Eva Roman Canning, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.